for you, Liesl. <laughs> Congratulations for doing it so early in the morning. <laughs> well, they don't know this piano only started working about five minutes ago. Yeah, but you got, you're allowed to say that on live TV I now can. that everyone knows. <laughs> well, that is the thing about live shows yes. and live TV. The public never know what's going on behind the scenes. But I'm sure there's lots that <laughs> happen, like uh, things that have happened at shows that have gone wrong. Come many, share some moments many, with many, us. Many, many, many times. Missing drummers that have gone AWOL. I mean, the youth spectacular, my drummer just, where he was in the craft section eating and uh, we were called on like five minutes go I was like where is the drummer and it was like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and he looked at me and said sorry I'm like I'm gonna kill you I've got to eat, <laughs> I've got to eat. <laughs> not now so but you sing I was watching you singing and you were singing with so much passion and this is a song that you've done repeatedly for two years at every oh, yeah. concert
concerts for more probably yeah. and you still sing it with so much passion do you not get bored of your repertoire I mean you've got tons I know you've got loads of music lined up uh, no because um, I think when you write something that's not um, well, that is full of meaning. I wrote it because of exactly the same situation that you were explaining earlier. Um, what I'm able to do is quickly click back into where I was uh, three years ago or wherever the case was, um, and I'm instantly full of that same emotion, and that's how I that's how I keep doing it. And also, every scenario is so different. Um, every show you do, there's different elements. Mm. Like, we're happy that piano is working. <laughs> and it was just a grateful, a gratefulness. Um, and then you told me your story, and then I, I, I factored that all in, and mm. it makes it hopefully genuine. It looked very genuine. It is genuine. <laughs> Your writing process when you're writing, I mean, a lot of the songs are I miss you or it's sad there's lots of uh, happy songs as well but where do you get your, your material from where do you get your ideas and your inspirations for writing your songs unfortunately real life <laughs> your real life uh, my real life or friends um, friends as well mm -hmm. um, I think um, being an ambitious um, independent woman mm. you are not it's, it's quite difficult to have mm. a, a, a relationship with a man that's very understanding so there has been quite a few breakups especially in the entertainment industry yeah mm. and I think I'm an old-school person that it loves long-term relationships um, I'm a very loyal person but mm. I'm traveling a lot mm. and I think a lot of it's a it's pretty from afar um, the idea of having totally somebody relate. as an entertainer yes. as a girlfriend but the reality is we're not really around we're not going to have your dinner on the table mm. by 6 30 when you come in well we're traveling we're on tour and things change the last minute <clears throat> you're leaving and you always have to take that job <laughs> so it is difficult um, but we being an being a a soulful person you fall in love deeply and your heart gets broken deeply so um, it makes for great music <laughs> it's been a lucrative <laughs> a lucrative thing to have heartbreak every time I have a heartbreak <laughs> my mother goes that's another number one single. Here's your number like, one song. And that. you cry your eyes out. I'm crying. There's a lovely movie with, I think, Diane Keaton, um, and uh, Jack Nicholson's broken her heart, mm. and she's type. She's a playwright, and she's typing on the, well, she's typing on the computer, and in between she's crying, and I just thought, that's exactly what I do with music. You're like, this is really good, but it's really painful. <laughs> <laughs> but that's your way of processing. That is a process, Ex absolutely. Now, I know you're going to perform for us a bit later on. What's the other song you're performing later? I thought I should do Warrior. Yeah. Um, because you it was, performed yeah. that with Zulu Boy. Yes, that was such an awesome song for me. It mm. was a big risk, and it really goes to show I'm not a big risk risk taker. Mm. Um, and I was very scared when I released Warrior that I would lose a lot of my Afrikaans-based fans mm. and my more conservative English fans. Mm. And everybody embraced it. And I think it's a song. I sang it yesterday for an MTN Woman of the Year kind of uh, function, and um, people embraced it as well, just because it's. It doesn't have to be about women, but yeah. it's about saying, I know what you're up to and I'm not standing for it anymore. So it's an empowering song. Yeah, it is an empowering song. Yeah. So we're going to hear that from Louise a little later on. We're also going to open the phone line. So if you'd like to chat to Louise, you'd like to ask her anything, feel free to give us a call 083-913-3728. Pick up that phone and chat to her live here on Expresso. We're taking a quick break and we'll see you after this. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.